Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Garden, and this is G. Darius on Sony's wonderful PlayStation console. Beautiful. Here's the Sony PlayStation boot sequence with its old fashioned Sony font. And here's the uh, PlayStation uh, polygonal logo with razor sharp edges. Ooh, don't touch, you'll cut yourself. Uh, G. Darius is a horizontally scrolling shoot em up. Featuring fish and a spaceship, and the spaceship doesn't like the fish, so the spaceship blows the fish's faces off. We're loading here. Capture the hot dog. Tie to. Don't know why you're capturing the hot dog, but you are. Here's a FMV. Oh, every game needed an FMV back in the day. G. Darius is no exception. We've got horrific looking anime characters. We've got the Silver Hawk, which is a pointy spaceship, and the giant space fish. Oh, the Silver Hawks are in the hangar, ready to go and shoot some fish. Come on, let's go and kill these muddy fudges. It's a bit of a low action FMV, this. Uh, ooh, the point of view of being launched. Lovely. I've always thought the Silver Hawk spaceship was a not a great design. It's a bit pointy and a bit spindly, isn't it? Certainly not the Piper. Oh, here comes a great space fish. No textures, just polygons. Uh, you can fight that that bad boy there. He's a bit of a pain in the butt. You'll see the creation of new lives, but this game's all about blowing up people's faces, so don't don't know. Anyway. Uh, we're going to play the arcade mode. This is the PlayStation version, like I said. We, we went through all that PlayStation guff at the beginning. And uh, let's just get the price out of the way. I uh, paid 30 English pounds for this uh, this space year, and which is 2023. Uh, back in the day, in PAL territories. I remember paying about 30 quid for it back in the day. So it's actually gone down in value over the years because of inflation. That's an economics lesson for you there. Uh, yeah, that's what you come to this channel for. You come for uh, low detail economic advice on the price of games. Here we have used a capture ball. So this game is capture ball heavy. So Darius Gaiden had a capture ball. Uh, this game, you can capture anything in this game and it becomes your sidekick. Uh, so where it differs is, Darius Caden, you shot the ball out of the fish's face and captured it. Here, you fire your balls into a fish's face to capture it. Uh, I say fish because some of these things are fish, but some of them just look sort of robotic. But anyway, you fire the capture ball, capture them, and they become your slave. Your robot fishy slave. And they all have different firing patterns and abilities. You manage to put your balls in the face of a, a mid-level boss, they have some excellent weapons, like there's a missile firing fish on this level, and they have secret weapons as well, so you can do Street Fighter style command moves and they'll do something new, which is very exciting. Like that fish in the background, you can capture him and get him to fire a massive laser by doing a Hadouken, I believe. Uh, what else does it say about the capture balls? Oh yeah, so when you've got an enemy captured, um, you get him to do your bidding, fo follows you around, fires his weapon at his, his mates. He's like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, oh man, I'm so confused. I thought I was shooting you, but now I'm shooting my buddies. Uh, and then you can compress him, uh, squash him down into a chunky laser, which you can fire across the screen and wipe out hordes of enemies. But, ooh, don't do that. Don't do that just yet. Wait for the boss to come on. Wait for the boss to come on, and then he can also fire a chunky laser. And you can have a laser battle off where you shoot fat lasers at each other until one of you just goes, oh, I've had enough of this, and gives up, and the laser takes your face off in a vicious industrial accident. This dude, he, the laser comes out of his like forehead nipple, but he tends to die long before you can uh, laser his face off if you just keep shooting at him. So uh, 
Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna laser this guy's face off. But I'll do it on the next boss maybe. The captured enemies also act as shields, as you can see they have like bullet soaks and they can be destroyed by in this case the boss's fireball attack. So what we have is a game that has excellent music. It has passable 3D graphics for a PlayStation. Well they're pretty good for PlayStation actually, more than passable. Oh, I forgot about that. You can just self-destruct the things that you catch as well. They can just like, literally just blow up by tapping the button. Sort of smart bomb style. So anyway, the PlayStation graphics are pretty cool, they're all light sourced. They're not as glitchy as an old PlayStation game, I would say, but there's a lot of slowdown. That background looks like Woodstock 1969. Jimi Hendrix. The Summer of Love. Um, it's very trippy. Darius Root Selection. Oh, it's all in here. This is a Darius game. Uh, yeah, it's 30 quid. It has excellent gameplay. It's one of my favourite. Darius, probably my second favourite Darius game to play, or sort of tied for first with Darius game, really. The gameplay wise, I prefer the graphics in Darius game, I think, just because I like 2D, 2D stuff a bit more. Some of the polygon stuff in this is cool, but looks a little low P these days. It hasn't aged as well as 2D. Uh, but it is a nice looking game, don't get me wrong. Uh, and the music is excellent. Like I said, when the game plays cool. So, for the 30 quid, you get a fun, fun, fun time. And the Switch version uh, has this PlayStation emulated and they've HD'd it, which just basically means they've uh, increased the resolution of the polys and not redone really anything else. So, that's not that exciting, but that's also about 30 quid. So, if you want to play this game legally, you're going to be paying about 30 quid either way. I'm sure you can find this on those dodgy sites you hang out on uh, and emulate it. I'm sure you can do that. But I don't recommend it because uh, I don't know, the police might come and get you. Very unlikely. But you know what I mean. Anyway, um, class game. Very class game for the PlayStation. Uh, super recommended. The front cover on the box is a bit boring though, I will say that for it. Uh, but you do get a manual with some images in it. Yeah, all is good with the world. G Darius. Beautiful. That's it. That's all I've got. That's it. Signing off. Bye!